No, North Sea Poet, you are not first. You got beaten today. Look at you. Yeah, right. You're not first. No. No, you're terrible, isn't it? You got beaten. Oh, dear. So, hello, poor Charles. Remember how to how to control as well. I'm sure I'll remember. Oh. I just wondered if there was a secret. Okay. Very good at forgetting the narrow secrets. All those emotes you got, North Sea Poet. Oh my god, are these ice physics? I know, right? How did he get stab emotes? Hey, David. Oh my god, I see the secret. And I can't get there. See, I see the secret. How am I meant to get over there? A, a double jump thing. Right? There must be some kind of double jump thing. Yeah, I I can't get there yet, can I? Oh gosh. Just kill everything. Unless. Yeah, I think I'm meant to come down from here. I don't have the ability to do things yet. Come on. Come on. What, there's nothing here? So disappointed. I hate not being able to get secrets in games until like I play the whole game later. I, it feels like, it feels like having, yeah, I hate having to redo everything. Right, what, what are you saying? Yes. Meditation. The path of resilience. The North Sea Pirate wants his duck boot. Found the duck. You know what I got now? Yes, when I tab out, this happens. There is Duck North Sea Poet. There is Boop. Enjoy your Duck Boop. Oh, we know that would happen for sure. <laughs> Finally near the mountain summit, looks like my adventure's about to come to an end. Clearly you haven't watched the trailer. Pardon? Never mind, it's cold and slippery out there, be careful. Give me stories. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as meat. The elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, the comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was that the grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm which would take weeks to cross. One day a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called 
the track. Scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence. Then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the track before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. The following decades, that boy grew up, with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left the track. He set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into Bones. The days of walking through the store without realising it was all just a metaphor playing out in his troubled adult mind stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. His parents frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong and remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again. The cold took him to become a part of the ice pit. What? What do you mean, what? No moral, or at least a proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh might just be the very message they mean to convey about them. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaway. There are no wrong answers, as long as they ring true for you. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. It just might be the case for you as it is. You could consider the implications of our adventure of being five years older than his parents when they found him. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realising they're actually younger than you? The bearers of truth, the wise ones, those who aspired to be like A harsh reality indeed. Thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, and they were centred and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted, and used for stability, physical, physically crystallised, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. They really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you're the one who missed the mark. Were they simply excellent actors? This is very, yeah, difficult, huh? I guess that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. I can believe that for sure. Oh gosh. Is it just can? Rip. I keep forgetting to switch it over. Because I don't have, um... Because I, cause I don't have, um... What's it? I don't have quick keys. Wow, my voice is going. There we are, yes. You can watch me play the game now. I don't have shortcut keys. It, it, this is often a regular thing when I try to multi see Oh my god. Well, that was worth it anyway. Yeah, hotkeys, quick. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's terrible. So, how come there's nothing healing? No healing. Yeah, I, th I think my problem is that I am probably still very tired. <laughs> yeah. You speak southern, not proper English. Well, you know. I would like some more health back. Why, why is this not for, not, yeah, I give up. This, 
this is gonna happen a lot. I just want more health, like... Why is there no, why is there no health there? I just want more health so that I can go and die. So that I could die a little less, e a little less quickly. There we go. Yeah. You know. It just like usually at these at these save points, there's like. I always blame Porch, that's how it works. It's like... Like, I just want a way to just not die as... Oh my gosh. See, like, I just want a way that's just gonna... You know... No, the controller is not functioning properly. It's just because the game won't give me like an extra, an extra, um, extra health. Plus I'm very impatient. There was one here the whole time. Wait, why wasn't it giving me one before? Definitely not giving me that before, right? We always blame Porsche, that, that's how it works, right? over there. I can't get that secret now. Hey, Foka. How's it going? I just like... I just wish, like, I didn't have to replay the whole game to get secrets. Like, I already know there's a secret. Figured everyone blamed Porsche because she hadn't spoken up. Yeah, well... Yeah. Great. There we go. I don't want that other one. Yeah, we're blaming the fake Porsche.
what are you at? when it comes to playing games. I think this is my problem. I have a lot of problems. involved just failing at basic platforming and stuff. Sports car manufacturer. I just don't like secrets being hidden behind abilities. Checkpoint. Jesus. It's a long section. because I was too busy focusing on platform. to realize like I don't want help to like pull out of one of these like so you know like these lanterns right some of them are above ground some of them aren't above ground the ones that aren't above ground you shouldn't be able to 
shouldn't be able to get help out of one of these bad boys that isn't on the ground because you can't collect it. Exactly. It's like, what's the point of having a way to get help in this game if you lose access to the health bar? Because there's no ground. Like, so these lanterns, right? You don't... You don't need, um... The whatnot. You don't, you don't need to have ground because you just automatically collect what's in you. Like, if you automatically collect what's in them, fine. But you don't automatically collect the health. So, like, I noticed these things. And, like, I'm noticing that, like... Like, I'm noticing, you know, things. I forget where my trick is. Well, you know what? And the problem is, I'm on such low health that I am basically dying. Okay, well, at least I can just get this checkpoint because I am not going over there, right? Uh, there is absolutely no point. I can't upgrade because I'm dying so much. play levels just to get things. Like, if I know where the secret is, Should I have to come back later when I've learned a new skill? Wait, let me get it now. But if I'm good enough to find the secret myself, like why do I need to wait 50 years? Idea where I'm going. This is what happens when I um, don't exactly 
Yeah, this is what's been happening on Abortion Nights. Oh, a checkpoint! Nice. Did I kill him? No, I just wanna knock him out. One hit point. My favorite. Yay, two hit points. No help. Okay, now, which way do I go? Okay, this, this way. This way, this way. Problem not to Oh, thank goodness the spawn gives me some. What? You're not gonna let me pass, my dude? Right, good riddance. Yeah, this is what an old sea poet does when I'm not looking. We all know he does things. Oh my god, now I'm in the bloody end. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I didn't lose any health. Right, how do I get out? Oh, I think I need to get out. Okay. You should be drawing maps for a local history article. It doesn't come out until Christmas. I'm gonna tell you, like, the last few months have just been a blur. There's a checkpoint. Get lost, sir. Get lost, sir. Yay! I'm somewhat good at platforming. Oh my gosh, I'm not somewhat good at platforming. Because I forgot how to jump. Yes, Quobble, you are the MVP.
The worst part is I'm bonking on the snow. The pro- Whoever thought you could bonk on the snow? Whoever thought bonking on snow would be a problem? Like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm a very ragey person, right? We're just, we're just gonna have to live with the fact that I will find flaws in everything just from the way that I play. in that. You imagine bonking on snow is doable? The death was pretty funny. Well, of course it was. See, how was I meant, how was I meant to get that help? How was I meant to get that help? Like, like, the game devs need to tell me how it was expected that I was to get that help boost without, you know, without doing some fancy platforming trick. You know, because I don't know about you guys, but I can't catch shit when I'm falling. Perfectly symmetrical. I do all the stupid deaths, like, oh, he's not here. He's gone. Maybe he's in the closet. But you really thought it would be that easy? Ola is in the door now. Yes, I did. I did thought it would be that easy. Well, please stop. Did you just come here to tell me, like, Oh, he wasn't here that I could just sneak in his closet. Oh, he made it? Does this mean we can do the thing? I love doing things. Keep your hood on, shorty. He needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. Do the thing. Now, now, we need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great, take it away, prophet. Ahem, welcome, messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. See, I told you he was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Ahem, please hold the scroll higher than that so the prophecy might be fulfilled. Yes, we've forgotten the word, what the word aloft means. Just all the snow falls down. Oh, look at all that snow. Crazy snow. He... he made it. Of all would-be messengers, him? Yeah. Why not him? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. Ahem, a gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us at the top of the Tower of Time. Gla glacial peaked. You know, I can't go. What? I am trapped in this screen now. This is, this is depressing. I just wanted to run away. Lasers. I've died already. Okay. Do 
that again. I see what I need to do. Z when you should have that. Yeah, basically. I'm not going fast enough. How do I go faster? Yeah, 51 times, whatever. That was probably how you were meant to do it. You know, I just figured I'd die a few times. Dying is, is fun. What is this? Why do I want it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm teleporting now. Okay. Save point. I'm sorry, what? Ah yes, the big reveal! Indeed, my dear adventurer, you had been teleporting into this very room all along. So, where are we? In the Tower of Time! And where is that? Surely you mean when? To be honest, I don't really know. The tower is a device that travels through time. It manifests to test messages we deem worthy in order to be located. Where will it take me? When? It will take you to the time most in need of a messenger. That is, if the tower doesn't kill you. Need anything? I mean, I still can't upgrade stuff. I'm still short of stuff. Stories. Stories. There once was a land filled with bogs. It rhymes with frogs. That's why I said it. And these bogs, they were filled with evil monsters. Many evil frogs. Sleeping underwater during the day, they were kept at bay by the moon during night time. Well, then she was kind enough to be around. After all, the moon was free to travel through space and often felt like shining her light on other realms. One day the moon got bored and decided to visit the bog land in human form. Wearing a cloak so that her light wouldn't shine through, she hoped to catch a glance of the evil creatures. Getting more than people wandering haphazardly in cursed lands usually bargained for, she encountered a man fleeing from a small pack of monsters. Confident in her power, she removed her cloak, creating a glittering aura of protection to help the man escape. Escape he did, but as he looked back, he could see that the saviour put a cloak back on a little too soon. Captured by the creatures, who then buried her under a rock so that her light would never shine again, they would rule the night. But our survivor was quick to gather a group of peasants who went to remove the big rock and set the moon free. A strong bond was formed on that day and she decided to become their guardian. To this day, the moon is there to guide human travellers through the night. The end. I like that one, I guess it speaks to the power of cooperation. Maybe, to be honest, I only wanted to use the word haphazardly in a story. And I still not. I just want to go in the cabinet. <laughs> oh yeah, I could drop, can't I? I forgot I could do the drop thing. believe how much I've forgotten all of these very essential skills and then I just die very conveniently after remembering said skills see I, I claim to be good at this Yeah. 
I don't know, I'm just I'm just not a fan of waiting for cycles. I think that's my problem. Just don't really like waiting for cycles. What does this do? I don't remember that being there to begin with. This wasn't obvious. We all knew that was going to happen, and I don't have a save. Like, this is my save point. Like, the, like that's a, It was kind of easy to get back here, though. I hate things. Just, just let me, let me get back to the place. I just want to get back to the place. I just want to get back to the one place. One shot this room. Like, I don't know. Like, it feels a little bit unreasonable. It, it just feels a little bit silly now. But I found the secret. Just, I just want to get through the rooms faster so that I can try the secret. Like, but I don't have a checkpoint to try the secret. A rather large wasp just flew inside here. Foka, please don't. I hate bugs. They always get caught in my hair. Like, so what do I do here? Like, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna die in a rather humiliating way. And then, like, have to do the whole thing again. Luckily, there's an internet between me and a wasp. Thank goodness. This is why I always keep my bedroom closed. Why do I have to stick to the wall? I didn't want to stick to the wall. 
Ah! <laughs> I just want to get back to the room. Yes, I've got to love white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. I remember my history lessons as well. when you can't see where it ran. Yeah, you need one of mine hid behind my radiator and then it came out and I was screaming. Wait, well, what am I meant to do? And now I have to get back there and it takes me like 50 million years to get back there. Even if they just put a checkpoint here, like, I'd be fine. Just... I just want to get this thing. Because I found the thing. How am I meant to grab... like spending like 50 years trying to work out how to do this room now. Why did I have to stick to the wall? Like, I don't get it. Like, this is what I find annoying, it's like, it's not... Like, obviously it's my own inability to press the buttons properly, but like... When I have to spend like a minute getting back to this room... Inevitability at this point. Oh, look, a checkpoint. Magic. I just kind of want to cry now. Why couldn't it? Don't 
don't tell me there's a secret up there. Should we should we just go investigate? Nope. I definitely feel like there's a double jump ability somewhere in this game. wasp got itself stuck inside your toolbox well you know what i would do i would hide the toolbox outside just so that like i wouldn't have to worry about the wasp yeah oh gosh yeah i would just put the toolbox outside and just watch the toolbox until the wasp escaped just I used to have to trap them in glass tumblers at uni, and like, I was terrified. Okay. in one of those moods today though one of those moods where i'm just upset at everything and to be quite honest i have a lot of days like that like i don't know I don't mind not doing good at games, I just mind when the games themselves, like... Like, you get to a section and then it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you died, sorry, let's send you all the way back here. You know, that's fine. Just live with it. Might as well kill all the things there. Why did you grab onto the wall? I don't need you grabbing onto things. Why there's a checkpoint. Yes, we'll just go in here. in here.
Walking on air achievement. Oh, chip it, chip it! What? Why? Why would you do that to me? Give me an achievement and then watch me die. Why? But I did so well. Me, my green thingy. Ye old leap of faith. Well, at least I got there quicker. Nintendo sent you an email saying it's almost your birthday. As though you don't know that. Well, poor Shark, we, we know that, that you're just, you know, the biggest, incapable, you know, whatever. No, they do more for your birthday than, you did, than they did for Zelda's. I don't even remember what they did for mine. Mine was like six months ago. I made it. I made it. Oh, but at what? It's gonna be a constant on this one. And I, I think the differences between this and Celeste is like Celeste is like room checkpoints. Like I just feel like having to redo everything to get back to whatever. I don't have an uncle that works for Nintendo, exactly. Just I'm just like completely you know, alone. Okay. Brick that. Just jump in the hole. Okay, chat. Do I go left or do I go right? I just want to see if there's a. Yeah, there's a checkpoint here. So I can just. Save at that checkpoint and we can just come back. An uncle who builds bridges. Yes. Oh, that was easy. The company just started building their first bridge. like networking or something though for sure. Be an um, aluminum bridge. Yay, I died. That was the, the last job he did was building a roller coaster. Is it not called the Foca Coaster?
surely I just wanna just wanna stand I just wanna stand above it, right? We definitely need to play something more relaxing after this. What should it be, chat? What relaxing phenomenon should I um, should I discover next? One hit point. I'm hoping. Yay. Stuff. No checkpoint. Disappoint. get any health back. I'm a barren Molly. That wasn't too hard. It's an industrial amusement park. Interesting amusement park that was built by an rich industrialist who decided he wanted an amusement park. That's basically how I go through my life. Wait, I thought the shop was physically behind that other door earlier. Oh, so this is the moment that got you? My shop is connected all over the world, and that's totally fine, but somehow it can't be in the same building twice. I can't believe you. Need anything? I need this. Gosh, I didn't realise that would move. Ahem, and so you made it through the test of will. That didn't take that long. Maybe it wasn't really a test of will. Oh, we are so gonna do the thing now. Ahem, prepare yourself, messenger, and behold the might of our order. You shall emerge as the chosen one, or not at all. Enough introductions, I'm going first. Do I have to fight them? Well, someone's excited. I've been preparing this speech for decades and you just... You'll get over it. Let's go. Oh look, it's a boss. Made of bossness. So how do I kill it? Okay. okay. There we go. Oh no, the boss is protected. Die. So you mean I can't- oh, there is health. I might as well just die here, because it took away my health.
I didn't realise there was health. It looked like it was part of the scenery. Okay, we go. Yeah, I want to get on that. the dialogue like, that's pretty cool. I wanted to get on that. Okay, so if I jump I can avoid most of the Oh god. Am I meant to... Trying to sweep me off. I mean, his hand is actually doing that. Oh gosh. The devs knew they were trying to fake me out. I went left thinking. It would start on the right again. Come on, get rid of your evil ball thing. things all they did again. This feels like a final boss, but it doesn't. I, I, it's got like a nice rhythm to it. This feels like one of these nice chill boss battles. Right, nothing much has happened. Just like... Side if I'm on the right side, the right one will move. If I'm on the left side, the left one will move. The one. Am I meant to do something else with this? The same attacks have just cycled.
Yay, I died, all that effort. Ah. Was there something I'm missing? This is kind of a boring boss fight. Not gonna lie. cheese. ability where when I attack an enemy I can then jump again um so basically I cheesed that boss because of an ability I had I didn't have to do a lot of things because I had an ability which allowed me to cheese certain sections so I could just hit the boss and jump again I don't know once you got the hang of it, that was that was quite all right. It was a bit boring because you had to wait on the cycles. You couldn't always attack him. Okay, I think he's coming. Please let me do the prophecy bit this time. I'm staying out of this. Do whatever you want. 
Ahem, and so you made it through the test of might. Okay, what's next? You sure it wasn't the test of cheese? Ahem, to fulfill the prophecy, you must now pass the test of faith by taking the leap. The leap, ahem, the leap, yes. I don't get it. Well, the test of faith, leap, leap of faith, makes sense, no? I'll just jump already. Come on, I was trying to have an epic move. Ahem, now, hero, lend your courage to hope and the strength of the perfect dive into your destiny and emerge as the one true messenger. I, I wanted to... Yeah. Overlaid with the top of the screen. You know, I want it to flow over, not jump into the pit. Oh no, I have a hat now. I've become the hat man. I don't want to go towards the light. I have to go towards the light. This is depressing. I think he's trying to test me, Foco. Oh god, not this guy. This guy's gonna kill me. He's gone. So this is how you become the true messenger. You, you get yourself a hat. Uh, specifically a bamboo hat, and you put it on. Achievement unlocked sweet 16. I didn't do anything. At least I'm pretty sure I didn't. At least I got my health back. Boing. Boing. Oh look, thing. Well, I've already taken a lot of damage. Only 36 power seals? Will you keep hiding me from? What happened? I warped or something and now everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. Why, thank you! It's got a duck on it. I love it. Seriously, wow. Would you like one? It's a hat with a duck on it. Any idea what happened, though? Sorry, I can't... I just can't get over the hat. I know! Have you seen it's dirt face? You know, the dirt face tabbing out? This is, the, this is my dirt face, right? But my dirt hat. I mean, I still can't upgrade. Is that because I've died so much? Welcome to the cloud ruins, remnants of the civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel hairy. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How high am I? You mean, in my opinion? What? Oh, geographically. Well, you entered the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain and then exited you through the top of the tower. So I'd say 35. Enjoy the sights. What's the deal with everything looking so different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon? That moment in the Tower of Time, yeah? It sent you to the future! Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. Give me a story. There once was a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy, it is well deserved, he began, but if you feel like helping even more, there were two gnomes hiding in the forest who were even hungrier than you are. Now that boy was an empathetic one, his mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them without even saving a bite for himself. Thank you, kind little boy. The gnomes being it seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed, to punish them for their greed, the spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying magical little mill capable of producing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic could only be activated once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfish generosity. The starved while carrying a relic, promising abundance, a cool fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. 
Name something you want while turning the crank to the right and the little meal will produce an endless stream of it for no reason time. Turn it to the left and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two notes, the young boy went back to his village to help the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night she couldn't take it anymore and stole the little meal from her brother's bedside table along with two leftover fires from the afternoon feast. Adding insults to her injuries, she left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. But out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which to her taste were lacking a little something. It's time to try the little girl's magic. She reckoned, give me some salt, turning the crank to the right. Add salt she got, heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister had never bothered paying attention to how the milk could stop. Stop, little meal, stop, she shouted, first annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking itself under the weight. It is said that the sunken little meal is still operational to this day, and that is why sea water is salt. Okay. That was interesting, but it feels more like a little kid's story explaining things around the world we actually know the reason for. Tough crowd her, why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge you. So you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led her demise, irritated people were head for the first to have salt. Oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming up with morals to do with salt. I feel salty now, chat. wonder if I can go in here. What? I still can't touch it. Sad. I was trying to find secrets. See, this one I can get. It's a platform. Yes, there's no secrets. I like how the trees are good. I like how I'm about to die. Keep coming back. You know. This must be a secret. Yes. Perfect. Yay! It's like the worst part is how do you tell when something's a pit and when something's a secret?
see, I can't, I don't think I can get that secret up at the top. Like, it's clear there's a secret here. It's clear there's a secret here. <laughs> So, cool hat. Oh, you like that? This is why you chose to wear one as well. What? Well, you have the same hat. No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're trying to tell yourself? Fine. You didn't have the hat first. You were all over it. Right, yeah, that will happen. Sure. It's true though. But you can put in your head in you can put your head in the sand all you want, but in an in attempt to preserve your ego, but clearly it's not going to work on the person that was there when it all happened. Can upgrade. Yes. Then we need that final one, chat. No, exactly, Foka. I'm assuming that the way is down here. I did not mean to do that. I thought there might be a secret there. Run on these? What? I thought it was just part of the background. Oh my gosh, there's a dragon chasing. Chase is a perfectly ordinary movie. It's like my character's not even gonna ask about the dragon. Well, 
I guess I'll work something out. Okay, I think I'm meant to I'm meant to do a, a bunch of dashes. Um, oh, I'm meant to do a bunch of the uh, this. meant to go so well, that's for sure. I just want to... <laughs> oh no, coin trap. Oh, but boom. That almost, that almost went through it. Got me. This looks rather ominous, doesn't it? a bit more platformings. Yeah. Wait a checkpoint. He got rid of his hat. Need anything? No. I can't believe he got rid of his hat. Oh, here comes the dragon again. I'm assuming I just need to outrun it. Well, I don't really know. I didn't even fall in the pit! I almost fell in the pit. How disappointing.
fire dragon. I get a checkpoint on this side as well. It's not even going to tell me about the dragon. And the secret passage with a thing. Yay, death. Anyone else to have taken? Oh dear. Put lag right there. There's repercussions, but like, Bobble doesn't seem to care. Yep, give me a payment plan, Bobble. If, if chat had to take like a shot every time I fell in a hole we'd be here all day Is 
one of an idea, and then I will try and replicate it. That was not meant to happen. That was also not meant to happen. We're just gonna die repeatedly until I get this. Be here all day. my deaths. Am I sure about this mission? No, I'm not. I think I see what to do. I'm just gonna die repeatedly. I swear to God if I die here. I got the thing. Please don't tell me I have to go back now. Yes, I do. Regret. Is that a checkpoint again? Now, 35, well, I've missed a lot. I can't even upgrade. It's not, I don't even know why he's here now. He's not doing anything for me. Not another cloud scene. I thought there's something running ahead of me. What's up next? But the prophet wanted me to repeat a line for you at this point in the adventure. All right, then let's hear it. Okay, I wanted you to try the voice. Check it out. Oh, I always wanted to try the voice. Ahem. And on this day, the messenger still unwittingly makes his lifesaver indebted to you. And that means I'm not sure. If all else fails, attack the fireballs. You heard him, chat. Attack the fireballs. Is this where we see the dragon? Oh no, it's the dragon. Well, I did some damage to him.
At least that's the one I did. Attack the fireballs, chat. Well, his head seems to do. Um, attacking the head seems to work. We just need to not fall in the pit that the head creates. We can do it, probably, chat. forever, do we think? Well, I kind of need some help now. So, we'll just die. Um, not too much floor is going to be How was I meant? 
trying to get over to him. Oh my gosh. That doesn't seem very smart. Oh, he's flashing now. Why is he flashing? I can't believe dragons know how to flash. Why am I not surprised? Right, the dragons do whatever they want. Probably. Hit, yeah, I, I think I feel like I need the pick. Come on, because I'm just, I'm just permanently pitiful. The dragon moved. than that one section that I had to keep getting back to. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, one hit. Save me, chat. Save me. I think what I should do is I should use my shurikens. I get how I use my shurikens. Gosh, what are you doing? Now, how was I meant to get over there? Like, you don't really. I think you should just leave the wasp and then just get terrified of it later. I attack it I think I need to I don't know I'm not sure like it keeps destroying all the clouds so like I have to I think I might have to just use my what's it my we're gonna have to experiment with the fireballs chat Follows night. It's good to see you again. I probably don't got this, but that's fine. I've just been raging with the platform. 
Like, why aren't there any more checkpoints? It wasn't, he wasn't firing enough fireballs. Like, why is this entirely based off of, like, RNG? Like, it feels like the... You know what I need? Okay, why fires the shuriken? So I need to fire my shuriken at him. Because if I fire my shuriken, that might respawn the, the ground. Because I just need one bit of damage in the ground. Chat, remind me. Remind me to use my my shurikens. Or oh, don't remind me. Either or is fine. with all the shurikens. Like, the worst part is, like, I'm starting to lose concentration now. <laughs> Like, I can't focus on the foreground as much, I'm just watching like moving shapes now. Like, I really need to like, work out why. last phase of the boss. Or this boss. He got rid of my ground! He, he changed direction last minute. I can't believe him.
it. I'm trying to avoid damage, and I keep falling with it. Make this work. the only time I've used my shurikens. Gosh. Oh, the dragon's gl the dragon is blue now. Oh no, the dragon is in love. Been watching you for a long time, messenger. Who are you anyway? Ha, so the disguise did fool you. It's a shame you freed my slave pet, but no matter, I'm now certain I can defeat you. You! Why, uh, surprised. Time to pay for what you did to my people. Bold words coming from such an unprepared adventurer. The underworld awaits you, messenger. At last, the scroll will be ours. Watch your step now. He popped the clouds! Checkpoint in here? Wait, why would the guy's shop be in here? That doesn't make any sense. His shop is in here. Oh my god, and now we've got rising lava. Can't this dude like set me free? I need like a thousand. Welcome to the lion's den! Oh, I didn't see any lions. No, I'm in uh never mind. The heat. This heat is almost unbearable. Come on, I'm happy to avoid certain cliches, but to think we wouldn't have lava to end your epic quest is pushing it. Give me stories. There once was a guy visited by a superbus. Far from being the kind of demon she offered him a unique chance to fit the hell as a tourist. Very adventurous by nature, he jumped right into the portal. They arrived in a room where giant cauldrons pulled over bonfires. He could tell people where little demons with pikes were sitting on the rims and wish anyone who tried to escape back inside. It was in that cauldron the man asked the Superbus for a guy. This one? That's where liars and cheaters end up, she explained. And this one, she continued, that's for people who hunt for sport. Aghast, the man noticed another cauldron much bigger than the other ones and devoid of any demons sitting on the rim. Indeed, that one cauldron seemed to self-regulate where people were pulling in anyone who tried to escape. And who's this cauldron for, he asked, curious as to who could be so stubborn in their ideology that would rather hurt themselves than lose their worldview. Oh, that cauldron. 
the Shukabush news. That's for people who think the order doesn't apply anymore and that another line opens up at the half. Oh gosh. The end. Okay, now you're just using the platform to vent. What is wrong with you? Are you that guy? Which guy? The guy who's fifth in line but rushes to be first when the new line opens. Oh right, different timeline. Never mind. Supermarkets, chat. Supermarkets. Well, I made it back up somehow. Ah, oh, no problem, Poker. Thanks for popping in. I hope you have um, a good time at the shop and you don't encounter that cauldron full of people. There's a secret in here. Oh yeah. a shortcut now for if I die. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't move up. There was an enemy there. From lunch, Porsche car. Nice. Yay, 
my checkpoint. He's a duck, where you from? Oh dear. Wait, you got it right now and that's it, we got that. I think if I could just get more. Yeah. The lava isn't in the horizon. Looks like the way ahead. Oh. Oh, I figured I could go down there. Oh, is the lava not going to come back? Maybe I could have gone down there. There is a secret here. Break! What was the secret? But I wanted to discover the secret.
didn't reach the wall. Must find. I must. Literally, if I find out what's there and it's like nothing, I'm just gonna be so. me game I saw the game I'm trying to get one past me Places like when you get to secrets, it would be really nice if they gave you the checkpoint if it's a really hard secret to get back to. Um, but yeah, I do like the platforming. Nowhere left to run, demon. Why would I run? You stepped right into my trap. We'll see about that. Ha ha ha, we own this now, champion of the blue robes. I see what I need to do there. Please don't make me read your dialogue again. damage from. Oh, 
further though. Unlock more like dumb in general. Oh, 
I got him! <laughs> Impossible! I'm the fastest there's ever been! Tell me how to end this curse, or else. Or else what? Snort. Is it that simple in your head, ninja? No, dumb in general was the achievement I unlocked. All of this is bigger than you or me. I am ending this. Your demon king is next. Make no mistake, messenger. None of us are leaving this place alive. If I can't have the scroll, then it shall be destroyed. Three exclamation marks. So extreme. Whoa. Um. Whoa. Oh. Oh, yay! I got saved! Phew! Close call! Saved by the blue dragon. I got you, buddy! I'm a talking dragon! Blue eyes, white dragon! Or green eyes, pink dragon, or whatever we're gonna call it. Thanks! I guess we're even now! Oh, yeah! What's your name? Manfred. But I'm a cool dragon! Look at me! My name is Manfred. Off the fiend emotes do look like Manfred. Maybe I'll have to just say, I'll just ask Feeny what the name of her emotes are and just go, is it Manfred? Is it Manfred the Draken? What kind of name is that for a sky serpent? Manfred Man and the Light Band? What's that? It's not my birth name, but I always wanted to be a butler. Okay. Well, you should dress for the job you want and not the one you have, right? So, call me Manfred. Okay, Manfred. What did you do before the demon's mind controlled you? No time to explain. This is your big moment. Manfred. Oh no, everything's in ruins. Oh, were you hoping for the Western hero? No prophecies for you, worm. Prepare to die. Hey, look, there's a worm. A giant sky worm. Achievement unlocked, man's best friend. You! I see Bob the Zell has failed me once again. Your reign is over, despot. Ah, uh, you think this is how it works? Know your place, ninja. Our curse is never ending. Time is over. For you, soldier. I can't wait for my minions to make short work of them. That was amazing! You're the Western hero, right? Me and my... Luminescent green goggles are all you see of me. No, I'm... I travelled so far east that I made it back to my village from the west. But things so different. Did the Tower of Time really send me to the future? I guess this means... Hey, I have an important task for you. I, I think. Pardon? I mean, take this scroll. You'll need to carry it across the world to the top of the highest mountain. Really? I'm 100% down to leave this outpost. Yes, a messenger is needed. A messenger? Godspeed! What? Just take the scroll. I wonder if they've ever read the scroll. And so your time as the messenger is up. What do I do now? Well, you could take a few moments to appreciate the reveal that it was all just a loop. No way! I still want to be part of the adventure. Oh, we'll get right to that. What do you mean? I mean, it's time. When? For what? For you to finally open the cabinet. Yeah, your cabinet. Manfred Man's Earth Band? Nifty Band and the most famous of oh dear. I've never heard of them, though. Really? Yes, go ahead. Open the cabinet. Can I just walk out? See what he wants? Please, do touch the cabinet. I already told you the cabinet is where it's at. I wonder if we can unlock another achievement doing this. Believe me, you're ready for what's in there. There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, do open it. 
not empty. I already unlocked it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use and open the cabinet or you don't open the cabinet so you have to sit through my boring story. I want to sit through that story again. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. I don't think I can anyway. Your last warning, I just want to see what you're saying. Better make sure you have some time ahead of you. Got 20 minutes left of the stream. Got some time. All right, let me share with you my understanding of Malam Madam Melody's work. After observing so many humans over such a long period of time and reading as much as I could, some trends inevitably come up. One thing we all have in common is the need to feel like we have value, power and abundance in our lives. Now like many things, there are functional and dysfunctional ways to go about it. Say you are dysfunctional. A sense of value may come from the approval of others, making you dependent on seeking attention, begging for others to tell you who you are is adequate. You'll feel good when you receive positive feedback, but always be one negative comment away from having your day ruined. Basically me! Now about power, dysfunctional people get a sense of power by exercising control over others, sometimes right down to policing the way they talk or who they engage with. This is not me! They feel good when they have a weak partner or friend to control, but feel depressed and weak themselves when no one is around to feed their ego. Not me! Their sense of abundance will often come from material things, displaying a high status or promiscuity. Even though it feels great while the money and the crowd are there, these lack of left, and the impact of these inevitable downfall will be hard to overstate. For functional people, it's scarcely documented as they are generally busy living a meaningful life. Functional people get their sense of value from an understanding and achievement of their inner worth. Their sense of power comes from an ability to self-contain and let others be who they are while protecting themselves when needed. And abundance simply comes from good self-care. Now all of this makes sense in theory, but the idea is to be able to apply it. For this you first need to master your emotions. Impossible. If I understand it, everything you experience is a big is a mix of the big five. All of take that right there, guys. Fear, joy, sadness, anger, and shame. Definitely sounds like take that. The primary colours of our experiences, you will. Mix fear with anger and you get jealousy. Too much sadness in your joy will make you melancholic. The only way to unpack complex emotions is by breaking them down into which of the big five are concerned and to deal with each of these individually. Easier said than done, right? I think that's why that's why Robbie Williams left to take that. Exactly why that happened. Consider haunted house stories for a moment. They're always the same, aren't they? Starts off with an op with optimistic fools moving in. Soon enough, odd things begin to happen. Fear ensues for a while. Eventually, the protagonist has had enough and decides to face the ghost. What? What do you want? They will ask, tired of cowering in fear. Turns out, ghosts usually know what they want, and it's usually the same thing. The person who's wronged them to face justice and to then be put to rest. That's usually where the killer faces a trial and the ghost's body is respectfully, respectfully buried. And just like that, the house becomes a warm haven again. Did you get the metaphors? If you often feel depressed, irritated, or however hindered in your general ability to engage with life, you are just like a haunted house. Your inner child is hurt and will be increasingly uncomfortable to you until you turn around and ask, what, what do you want? If asked honestly, you will find that the answers were within you all along and that following through with that inner child's request is both challenging and life -changing. Only then can you begin the process of discovering your true self to finally get rid of your chain. Chain. These were my final ramblings. Please keep in mind that I am but a shopkeeper. Everything I say should be taken with the biggest grain of salt you can find. Please open the cabinet now. Yeah, I got an achievement for that. The achievement is you said this was a platformer. <laughs> no, it's a story game. Oh look, clothes. So it's just a closet for blue robes? Why yes. What did it look like? Well, don't just stand there, grab one your size. Oh. I think I hear someone coming. Get behind the counter. The messenger, I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Hey, I said the same. I mean, do I look like a shop? What? Anyway, here's a power up that will let you charge your beam. Oh, there's upgrades too? Sweet! But 
basically what I said. Oh, he's back. So, thanks for the beam charger upgrade. You bet. You know, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why Raytroid invented it decades ago. <laughs> Who's Raytroid? Just a follow-up to an earlier joke. I don't get it. Somewhere. I don't remember the earlier joke, that's the problem. We're back. Hey, is everything alright? It's kind of boring, but I guess I'm okay. No, I mean, it's been a while since your messenger visited. Oh, I don't know. I didn't enter the shop so often myself. You're in the Tower of Time, remember? So? So it should automatically take you forward in time to the next individual moment. Which is, either your messenger enters the shop, or dies. Oh? Did your messenger die? How would I know that? By using the scrying orb! Wobble isn't sent within 10 seconds, your messenger dies for good. And when were you planning on mentioning that? Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. We need to fix this. Oh, it is we now? Come on, now is not the time to argue. We have to look at this holistically. Look at this holistically. What does that even mean? It means I'm as lost as you are. But I still want you to think I'm the smartest one. I'll go fetch the scroll. Hold on. Be right back. I need to talk to the office. Back again. Okay, we've reached an agreement. You're the one that needs to finish this. Really? Yes, really. You weren't really fit to be a shopkeeper anyway. I'll leave the stall for you to close. Come join us after you've changed. It'd be a boring game if I were the shopkeeper, right? Here now. Should I go this way? Or this way? Ooh, you like that big portal? It's actually kind of scary. After years of research, I realized one of the items we need to recover it is the very future we're trying to prevent. My calculations are correct. It should take you there, but in order to activate it, I would need a relic imbued with demon magic. Hey, it's you! I really missed that time when we did the thing! The others don't want to do it anymore. Welcome to the Tower of Time. I put it back into its headquarters for my feet to challenge. Which I designed myself, by the way. If you want to replay it, let me know. You may have missed a few hidden things. I don't... I don't... know that I missed anything. I think I... I think I actually got everything. I feel like I did anyway. Look, all I'm saying is he's been carrying the scroll for a long time already and it could be dangerous. It is exactly as was foretold in the visions. A born-again messenger will master time itself to end the curse by fighting in two cycles sim simultaneously. I don't know, warping once to go to the future was risky enough. Do you think it can s sustain doing that constantly? Well, unless you want to carry the scroll again, I don't see what other choice we have. Besides, we really need to find the remaining music notes. So, you still believe the music box is important? Well, I am the prophet, right? So, so yes, I do believe in the prophecy. Well, if you really mean to help the messenger, try to tow down that wannabe epic tone of yours. Hem, careful heaven, the mists of legend are very complex and attempts to trivialise their meaning may cause whatever, I'll be in my shop. So, the prophet will be your guide from now on. Good luck with that. Ahem, the prophet requires a moment of your time, messenger. No, I want to explore. 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 I want to explore. Exploration is necessary. Oh, there's not much here. No, I want to see the music box. Ahem, and so the messenger rises once more. I'm not sure what I should do next. Ahem, the mists of time are quite intricate indeed. But fear not, for the prophet is here to unravel their meaning. 
more like we interpret them, am I right? Ahem, I will forgive you. I will. That, that's the sound he makes. I will forgive this affront, for these are troubled times. Behold, messenger, as the Tower of Time portal nexus activates to help you on your quest. I think it's asking me to 100% the game now, chap. Return here whenever you seek guidance, and I shall provide. Godspeed, I need guidance. So what should I do next? Once the bird returns to the nest, it shall learn the power of true sight. Ahem, behold the music box. Legend says that it is the very relic maintaining the curse of humanity. Under the shroud of night, crimson trees shelter a magic note ready to be collected. Once the bird... Yes. Yes. Shut up. In here. Hey, you walked. Yeah, pretty neat. Things are probably going to get cryptic from now on with all this profit business, so you probably want to make extensive use of your map. My map? Your map? I don't have a map. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you, I don't have a map. Let's get this straight. We gave you a scroll. Fate of the whole world seems to hinge on it. We gave you a hero title relating to it. Carried it for days across countless parallel situations and even some time itself. And you never even bothered reading it? You're an animal. Press LB to open it. Do we okay, so I see a few checkpoints. Okay. You'll be in your shop. If you have the coin, I'll be happy to mess with the profit by pointing out things. What coin? What coin, chat? Anyway, I think... Oh my god, there's six more music notes to collect. Oh, we can go in that one as well. Oh, there's a, there's ground in here. 34 power seals. I can't go out this way. Hint. I'm having trouble understanding the prophecy. Under the Shroud of Night, the Crimson Tree shelter a magic note. Wow, can you believe this guy? 300 time shards. No. Oh my gosh, more upgrades. Oh my gosh. Adds a blue glow to rooms on the area map when you can shift between the past and the future. Adds a counter to the world map for the amount of power seals that you can Marks the location of all power seals. Gives me more energy. Potions now fully heal. Attack boost. Wow. I kind of wanted this one, but I think I can. I don't know. I don't know, chat. This, this guy is giving me more options. should leave it here for today because I've only got like six minutes left and that's not a lot of time to do stuff is it chat so who should we raid oh, I'm just gonna tab out for a minute so the music's gonna stop Raid our chicken life. Uh, 
That doesn't sound... You're just saying bye? That makes sense. This is how this is how I I raid people. It's kind of sad. This is how I raid people. Anyone got any ideas? Cause I'm I'm not very good at ideas. That's for sure. Um, I don't actually follow that many people. Should we just, should we just not do it today? Just chill. I think, I think we'll do that. So yeah, no raid today. But, um, thank you guys so much for joining me. And, um, I'll see you guys Saturday, I think. Um, I'll be off work, but I won't be able to stream past that, I think. But yeah, thank you, and I will see you. I'll see some of you, like, literally in a minute as we hop in somewhere else. But, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys. No, I'll see you guys Sunday, probably, because Saturday I'll need a big nap. But yeah, I'll see you guys Sunday, in all likelihood. Love you all.